Finally, what to expect as you go through treatment. Now I'm going to do this very, fairly quickly today, and I may do another video that goes into this in more detail. But people want to know, okay, when are my legs going to start to feel better, and when are my legs going to start to look better? Now, step one, as you remember, that's the lasers. Again, as I said before, that is laying the foundation. And so you really don't see that much or notice that much improvement in terms of discomfort. Now you may, everybody's different. So again, since we've been treating people with smaller veins, we're getting travel of the heat, people do see some improvement. Theoretically, if you decrease the um, flow from here, if you turn off the faucet, this should shrink. And sometimes it does, but the truth of the matter is most of the time it does not. So as you go through this, first of all, you will have some bruising in these areas that usually goes away pretty quick, quickly, you know, five days or so. It's not like the spider veins that take longer. But in terms of what's going to happen after this, you're really just getting started. Now, you're going to feel like you've been through a lot already, especially if you've had four laser treatments. But unfortunately, the vein system is very complex and we have to go through it step by step. So that is essentially what you can expect at the end of stage one. Now, step two is when you have the injections. And remember, I told you they were ultrasound guided injections. So those are the injections that are still done in the ultrasound room with the ultrasound tech showing me the image. And this is when we treat the rest of the veins, the veins that tend to be on the surface more. Um, some people call them varicosities. I don't really like that term. But they're basically varicose veins that are very visible. They're squiggly, etc. So when you get to this stage, you start seeing some improvement. The bulging veins, you start seeing them shrink. You start noticing improvement in your symptoms. Now, I will tell you, I've had patients at this step that notice a marked improvement in their symptoms. But it's usually somewhere along in here where you start noticing improvement, again, in the bulging veins and in the discomfort. There is minimal bruising with this. Um, so this is a very different stage. Now, depending on your insurance, depending on your schedule, we can usually get through both of these steps in about three weeks. So with any luck, you're going to start seeing a big improvement in the appearance of your legs as well as how they feel. So that's step two. Now, step three is, again, the fun part. That's when you get what's on the surface. And hopefully your legs are now feeling better. So then you can focus on what's on the surface. And usually this is a process. It depends on how severe your um, spider vein problem is. So a lot of people, it will take a while for this to really give you what you want. But it really, in the scheme of things, happens very quickly. Now, again, this is a process. If you had come in 20, 30 years ago, there would have been a lot fewer spider veins. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying you've got to give us time to catch up with this. But this tends to be the most tedious part because those blood vessels are so teeny and have to be treated essentially individually. Not exactly, but, but pretty close to that. So this is a process. Now, in terms of the frequency of these treatments, the step two, um, usually it's seven to 10 days between treatments. Step three depends on the person, depends on the nature of their skin, whether they're fair, olive complexion, um, muscle tone, age. Um, but I've treated veins, spider veins, et cetera, two or three times a week. Now, that's very unusual. Most people won't do that. The typical doctor will maybe do them once a week. I know some that will do it every six weeks. Now, to me, that would take forever. And what I've found is if you pretend that those are spider veins, if I treat these but I don't treat those, 
the flow from this could open that because there are interconnections. So my experience has been the more quickly you move along, the better people do. Now, again, I can set you up for a series of appointments, but I'm always going to do what's right for you medically. So if your body is getting inflamed, if you say, Jane, this is too much, then we back off and slow down. But there is a certain cadence, a certain rhythm to this that works well. So when people spread out treatments or they have some and then they go away for three months, they're not going to do as well. Now, we are as flexible as we can. We understand life happens, but we will also tell you along the way where is a good time or an okay time to take a break and when it's not a good time. So that's essentially what you can expect. Now, if you come in, you know, let's say one or two days a week and your veins, your spider veins are not too bad, this whole process may give you what you want in about six weeks, six to eight weeks. Now, generally, um, what most doctors say, what my mentor said, is that I should look you in the eye and say that this is a year-long process. And the truth is, we do see you three, six, 12 months to keep an eye on things. And um, it is something that is, has occurred over time. And you've got to give us the time to get caught up. But in terms of getting over the hump and getting yourself to the point where you say, OK, this is looking pretty good, and my legs feel good, that's usually about six weeks, maybe eight weeks. Now, Medicare patients, Medicare will only allow us to treat a leg every 10 days. So we could treat the right, I'm going to pretend, right on Monday, left on Tuesday, and then 10 days later, uh, right on, let's say, Wednesday, left on Thursday. So if the treatments are 10 days apart, it's going to take longer. So you have to hang in there with me. It's good news, bad news. The good news is Medicare pays. The bad news is they slow us down. So this is going to feel like it takes forever. But you have to hang in there and just remember that you are having it reimbursed. So that, just in brief, is what you can expect along the way.